In today's video, we will show you how to invoice a customer on Dynamics 365, Business Central. Let's get into how to invoice a customer from a sales order. As an example, I have opened one of the existing sales orders. It is one for RealCloud. The customer ordered 40 units of the Paris guest chair. Let me scroll to the right and you will see that these items already are shipped. Now we would like to invoice the customer. Invoicing the customer is done based on the quantity to invoice. Here we would like to invoice the full quantity. Although you can also make a partial invoice, but in this case, let us stick to 40. Next, I will click on Posting, Post, and select Ship and Invoice, or Invoice. By doing this, the system will now create the posted sales invoice. Let us look at the documents. I would like to check the posted sales invoice. This is my posted sales invoice, which is non-editable because it is posted. But by clicking on More Options and Actions, I can also navigate on the posted document. Here, because this is an invoice, the system has created GL entry, tax entry, cust, ledger entry, and so on. This is a first example in which I simply posted from the sales order. Now, instead of invoicing one sales order at a time, you can also invoice multiple shipments coming from multiple sales orders in one invoice. That is what we call the Combined Shipments function. Let me create a new sales invoice, and I would like to invoice multiple shipments we did to customer $1,000. I will create a sales invoice for customer Adatum Corporation, customer $1,000. Then I will go to the line action here on the lines. I will click on Functions and use the function Get Shipment Lines. This function will show me all posted shipments that we did not invoice yet. In here, I can see that this customer has two uninvoiced posted shipments. Now I would like to invoice them at the same time with one sales invoice document. I will select all the lines and click on OK. Now, Business Central will insert these two lines with references to the original shipment numbers. Here you can see the different quantities. You can see the unit prices and you can even change them if you want but I will stick to the same quantities and prices. Next, I can click on Posting, Post, and post the sales invoice for these multiple shipments. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and follow our YouTube channel for more content just like this.